Following the investigations made in Habilai's case, the prosecutor of serious crimes has requested the removal of Saimir Tahiri's mandate as Member of Parliament and called for his arrest. After the request by the prosecutor of serious crimes, the DP chairman and chairman of the SMI demand the removal of former Minister Interi of Interior Saimir Tahiri to allow for his arrest. Following the seizure of drugs in Vlor and the developments in the Habilai case, the Prosecutor General held a meeting with local prosecutors in Vlor and Lucia. Good evening, it's 6 o'clock on Thursday, the 19th of October 2017. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, bringing you the day's national top stories translated into English six days a week. The Prosecutor of Serious Crimes has requested the removal of Saimir Tahiri's mandate as a Member of Parliament and called for his arrest. The prosecution's request was made following investigations made into the Habilai case. Upon receiving the request, the Assembly's Council of the Rules of Procedure must gather within one day to determine their response to the prosecution's request and the report must be submitted to the Assembly within four weeks. The arrest sought by the prosecution for the Member of Parliament, Saimir Tahiri, will now set in motion parliamentary procedures. As the Chief Prosecutor said, the Parliament will now make a decision about Tahiri's mandate. Immediately after the prosecution's request goes to the Assembly, the latter, upon the request of the Chairman, gathers the Council of the Rules, Mandates and Immunities as defined in Article 118 of the Regulation of the Parliament. After reviewing the documents and informing the MP whose immunity is requested to be removed, the Council must draft a report within four weeks for a plenary session recommending the cancellation or approval of the authorization to initiate criminal charges against the MP. The Assembly has three months to comment on this report and if it does not authorise its approval within this time, then the request is deemed to be overthrown. The Assembly decides by secret ballot whether or not to authorise the initiation of criminal prosecution against the MP. The Prosecution of Serious Crimes has requested the Assembly of the Republic to remove the immunity of the MP and former Minister of Interior, Saimir Tahiri, due to an investigation initiated for trafficking of narcotics and passive corruption of senior state officials. The Prosecutor of Serious Crimes has requested from the Mandate Committee in the Assembly of Albania the issuance of authorization for the arrest of Saimir Tahiri and a search to be conducted of his apartment. The Serious Crimes Prosecution is conducting investigations in collaboration with the Italian authorities on the Habilai Group, which has trafficked large quantities of cannabis from Albania to Italy. The name of Saimir Tahiri was mentioned in wiretap. Prime Minister Rama has reacted to the latest developments regarding the situation of the former Minister of Interior, Saimir Tahiri. By emphasising that he believes in justice, Prime Minister Eddie Rama says that he hopes Saimir Tahiri proves he isn't related to the criminal activities he's accused of. When I say I want a just country, I mean only justice. When I say I want the truth from justice, I don't do it like those who have been only making fun of justice for 27 years and continue to do so. I truly believe this and I will fight for this wholeheartedly, justice for all and above all. I, so, I hope Saimir Tahiri proves in the end that he isn't connected to the story of criminals. Regarding this, I want to learn the light of truth and this light doesn't belong to me, the government or the parties. Only justice will bring out the truth, stated Prime Minister Eddie Rama on social media. The reaction of the Prime Minister came after the prosecution requested authorization from the Parliament to proceed in arresting the former Minister of Interior, Saimir Tahiri. After the request by the prosecution of serious crimes, the chairman of the Democratic Party, Lulzim Basha, and the chairman of the Socialist Movement for Integration's parliamentary group, Petrid Vasili, demanded an immediate meeting to take away the immunity of former Minister of Interior, Saimir Tahiri. Basha said that Tahiri's arrest is only the first step, and Petrid Vasili demanded the investigation start with Prime Minister Eddie Rama. The opposition has unanimously demanded the parliament to hold an immediate meeting and to take away the immunity of Saimir Tahiri in order to make way for his arrest and the search of his apartment. DP Chairman Lul Zimbasha and the chairman of the SMI's parliamentary group, Petrid Vasili, have declared in consecutive media statements that every minute wasted will serve to the destruction of evidence. I appeal to the parliament to immediately gather the commission of mandates and to act without wasting any time. Every minute delayed will serve to destroy the evidence. Now is the time for every deputy of the parliament to become responsible and to act according with the law and the constitution, declared the DP chairman Lul Zimbasha in his statement to the media. Mr Basha once again called for the removal of Rama from his post as prime minister. 
Meanwhile, the SMI MP, Petrid Vasili, requested an investigation into the Prime Minister Eddie Rama's relation to crime. In his statement, Vasili emphasised that justice has delayed in taking specific actions regarding this harsh, si harsh situation, and it must act now. Start with the Prime Minister, as he is the direct perpetrator. He must immediately respond to the situation in the country. The Prime Minister, as well as many other ministers, are implicated. The prosecution has all the evidence. The government is usurped by crime, stated Petrid Vasili. According to the opposition, the dismissal of several directors in police of police in Elbasan was done to take attention away from the grim situation in the country and the implication of the government in crime. <coughs> Around 4.5 tonnes of cannabis sativa were seized in Vlora after an operation conducted by Al Albanian law enforcement agencies in collaboration with intelligence services. Experts say that the narcotics have a street value of about 15 million euros. The operation by the police of serious crimes in collaboration with Vlora's local police began yesterday evening and was finalised today. Sources from the police reported that narcotics were found in the, in the cellars of a two-storey apartment, which is owned by the citizen Arman Kocheri, who is, no, who is a known friend of the Habilai family. Based on the prosecution's investigations, the narcotic was cultivated, refined, stored and prepared for trafficking by people who are part of the criminal group known as the Habilai Group. Meanwhile, the prosecution is conducting thorough investigations in order to discover all the people involved in the criminal group. It is learned that 100 police officers from Tirana's special units and from Vlora's anti-drug unit took part in the raid. Police forces are also conducting checks of some other houses in Vlora's village of Babits based on reasonable suspicion. Checks were conducted in the early hours of the morning in Vlora, Saranda, Jirokasa and Tepelen with further checks which will, con will continue throughout the day. Following the seizure of drugs in Vlora and the recent developments in the Habilai case, the Prosecutor General held a meeting with the local prosecutors in Vlora. In the meeting, which lasted for about an hour, Chief Prosecutor ordered the local prosecutors to investigate the police officers who are suspected of being involved in drug trafficking. Speaking to the media after the meeting, the Chief Prosecutor considered the situation in Vlora to be concerning and left open the possibility for arrests to be made. The Prosecutor General was also in Lushnia, where he also met with the local prosecutors. October 11 homicides in, in Lushnia, where two young men were killed in the centre of the city, were the focus of the meeting. The Chief Prosecutor stayed for 30 minutes at the office of Lushnia's Prosecutor, offering support for the revelation of the truth and the arrest of the perpetrators. I am here today for the recent events that happened in Lushnia. We will closely follow the situation and will offer support to Lushnia's prosecution to offer help for the discovery of the perpetrators of this criminal offence, said the Chief Prosecutor. He stressed that the, the General Prosecution is following the recent developments and criminal events throughout the country with special attention and considered the citizens' collaboration to be important. No new policies have been planned for the year 2018 regarding salaries and pensions. It has been learned that in the draft budget composed by the Minister of Finance, a decrease in salaries and pensions is expected. Regarding the compensation of the formerly persecuted and the former owners of properties, the expenses are expected to be the same as they were in the year 2017. The Ministry of Finance has ended the composition of the budget for the year 2018, which, in which an increase of income in of 30 billion lek is foreseen. It was learned that the draft is expected to be approved in the government's next meeting, but doesn't provide any policies on the increase of salaries and pensions. Regarding the expenses on administration salaries, the draft foresees a reduction of 4.5 billion lek. The same is foreseen with, pen with pension funds, for which there is expected to be a 1.8 billion lek compared to the 2.6 billion it was in the year 2017. It seems that according to the law, next year there will be only pension index. It's to be noted that the budget for next year pays attention also to the expenses on the justice reform. This article of the draft provides 600 million lek more on this issue. The total expenses for next year are expected to increase by 30% and these expenses will mainly be used for investment. On the day of Mother Teresa, Mayor Arion Veliai and singer Noisy have served lunch at social centres for people in need. Veliai said that the good deeds of Mother Teresa have inspired more solidarity while he called for businesses to join such initiatives. On the day of Mother Teresa, the Tirana Mayor held a lunch for people in need to support the kinds of people as per the mission of Mother Teresa. 
Mer Merivalii was assisted by the famous singer Noisy, and together they served the, the community in need at Combinat. I am very happy that today we served all those people who maybe don't have all the opportunities, who are old, and whose children are away. On the National Day of Mother Teresa, the best way to commemorate her is by serving the people who are in need, said Mayor of Eli. The Mayor of Tirana has currently established seven social centres where food and health care are offered to people in need. Mayor of Eli has appealed to businesses and citizens to contribute by helping people in need or by working as volunteers to the community's benefit. The well-known singer Rigel Dreikel, more commonly known by his stage name Noisy, has commended the initiative by the Mayor of Tirana to remain close to the social classes in need while he appealed to the youth for more solidarity and care towards elders. Through different social programs, the Mayor of Tirana offers a complete set of services in support of all persons in social difficulty. Through a social mensa, the, a warm supper is offered for persons without shelter and for elders or families with minimal income. The social centres established in different areas of the capital also offer legal and social counsel for those who require it. That's all for our English edition this evening. My name is Alexandra. Please join me again Monday through Saturday at 6pm for your local news in English. On behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.